Hi there, I'm Nabil Murad. In this training video, I want to show you how to create a very cool chart called the people chart. It's a new chart introduced for the first time in Office 2013, and not many people know about the people chart, so let's see how it works. So in this example, I have a list of student names and I have the scores for these students. I was able to count the number of occurrences in each bracket. So how many students got between 41 and 50, how many students got between 51 and 60, and so on. If you want to learn how to do that, you can watch my previous tutorial about the frequency distribution and creating histograms. For this tutorial, I want to focus on the new type of chart called the people chart. And to do that, I'll click on the insert tab and then I'll click in the add-ins group. I'll click on this people icon and it's loading. And here it shows me a sample chart. It's representing the numbers by using these icons for people that we can change and we can change the color as well. So let's customize this chart. So if I click uh, on the data icon in the upper right corner, it will ask me about the source values. I would like to select my data, so I'll click on the source data that I would like to represent. And here I'll be selecting two columns. I'll be selecting the intervals and I'll be selecting the numbers. If you are unable to select it, you'd better move this sample chart to the side. And then I click on data one more time. And it looks like I almost selected everything. And this is my source data. After doing this, I click on create. I could go to the same exact icon data and change the label if I want. So let's change the data as well. So I'll, I'll type, let's say student scores, and then I'll uh, click on the right pointing arrow to go back. Once I do that, the chart is created for me. The chart has been customized for me. I can move it to the side and look at some options. So I do have in the bracket 41 to 50, I have 12 students. I have in the bracket between 71 and 80, I have 18 students and it's represented by this people icon. And here is my label up at the top. But I would like to make some changes to my chart, some visual changes so I can click on the settings. And when I click on settings, it asks me, are you happy with this chart or would you like to select this type of chart? or you would like to select this type of chart. So I have different options. I selected the default. You can also change the theme. So if you click on theme, you have choices of different colors. I'm selecting the default one, but feel free to change the color as you like. So if I select the shape tab, and in the shape tab, this is where I change this icon. I can select shape number four, which is a complete icon for an individual or you can select a star, or you can select any one of these icons. I'll switch to shape one, which is the default. After doing this, I'm going to collapse. And the final thing I want to show you in this nice, attractive, easy to create people chart is that you can copy it to other applications. So if you right click, you will have an option of saving as a picture. And by saving as a picture, you can use it in Word, you can use it in PowerPoint, you can even send it as an attachment to an email. I hope you liked this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in our next training video.